Hey, what's going on guys? Super Sag 332 here. And welcome to Firewatch. Now, from what I've seen, this game is relatively old. I think 2015 or 16. Possibly se early 17, I'm not sure. But from what I've from what I've seen in the store of this game, it's like 1983 or something. And your character's name is Henry. And you decide to take a job out in the park as a fire watch, like a fire guard, to like, make sure a fire doesn't happen in a forest or a park or something. Um, so when I seen this game, I like looked at the trailer for it and I thought this game looks so nice that I bought the bundle pack so I have the game and the theme. Link's going to be in the description below. But yeah, let's start. Okay, so we have special features. Firewatch audio tour. Play the game with commentary by the team. Complete Firewatch to unlock unlock free roam. Okay. Uh, settings. Uh, display subtitles. Yeah, why not? Uh, auto save. Yeah, toggle head bob. That's gonna be fun. Show new goal alerts and locations on the map. Yeah, I think I'll keep that the same. And yeah, everything everything looks pretty good there. We don't have any load, so because I just booted up the game. So new game. Uh, slot one. Just let this game load up. Campo Santo was that? Panic Incorporations. Great. <laughs> Boulder, Colorado, 1975. Okay, I was close, but not exactly right. You see Julia. Hello. Oh. Ooh. She's about your age. Late 20s, laughing, well-dressed professor with grad students from, a ne from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with uh, your pals. Eh. You approach her. You are drunk. So you know what you need, major. You, you're, you're pretty. I'm drunk, what can I say? Eh, why not? You, you slur the word major and you smell like cores. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says. And I'm a professor. Cool, she replies. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology. She's a jokester. What a burn. Was that a burn, you ask? She says definitely. Where she hurts your feelings? She asks you if you want a cheeseburger. You want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you're Julia's boyfriend. Well, why can't life always be like this? Ooh. Look at those mighty hands! Do I need this? Okay. Emergency! Sensitivity is a little low, but I can just fix that in the thing. It's a tire. Okay, one minute. Uh, sensitivity even the thing. Okay, no, that's just the... Ooh, I can zoom in too. Can I break open that? Ooh, how far can I explore? Just going for a walk. Uh, how do I get out? How do I get out exactly? It's just a question that's just on my mind. Do I not need to, like... You date for over a year. 
She drives you abso absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You do drink beers out on the deck. You drink beers just about anywhere. Life's good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy undersized beagle. Julia is in love with it. She wants to bring it, it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass! You pick the beagle and she, na and she names him Bucket. You adopt the Shepherd and name him Mayhem. Now German Shepherds are nice dogs. But I love beagles too. I love a bagel. I love a bit of a bagel. Bucket the bagel! Bucket's a good dog, and one week later, later you've for totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him, and you love him too. I love bagels! 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30pm. The heat still radiates off the desert. Off the high desert, actually. Not just the desert. Duh! Stupid. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? They're not very smart. Or good at much. I'm saying if we have some. if I'm saying if you and I have some. A couple little idiots. That would be good. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I'd like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably the best they're, that their parents aren't hitched. You say she's absolutely right. It's like a quote I seen on a little like kind of poster thing that you have do those little motiva motivational things in the house. You like hang up. It said the minute you're in the relationship, you look her dead in the eyes and tell her who's boss. Look her straight in the eyes and say, You're the boss. <laughs> Great. Damn, you didn't have to stand with that hard. Ooh. Secrets. Hey! Who are you? Go away! How did I get in here? Yeah. I'm a bush. I'm a Fortnite bush. Yeah, because I apparently have like super like strong vision. Like super like good vision. This is the map. Mule point! You're in their country. Learn to live with bears. <laughs> Throw for a trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Throw for is a primitive backcountry trail. The trail may be vague along several something and disappears entirely at somewhat something. It has ridden confusing segments. Lo locating the trail may be more difficult than expected and it is recommended for I can't read that no fireworks do not forget to check in okay oh isn't that nice punch it oh th this game looks beautiful No, don't fade away. No, Henry. It is a Thursday night, and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You get worried. You're, you're getting worried and angry by the minute. It's in the back room. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You do fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad, you ignore her. None of these are good. Fine, mad. Well then, you call her an in inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck off and not be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Wow. You can hear it in the background. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plans from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a vic 
Victoria's Secret model. In He-Man, the guy that goes, Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not good with singing. Um, I don't know, I think... Ooh, fle uh, 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 He-Man! You look awesome! Hell yeah! Ah, my knees! How do I get back? <laughs> well, my car's gonna be robbed, or my jeep. That is dangerous! Someone could impale their s eyes with that. Or even worse, their ears. Two forks. Eight more miles. Still. Can I go up here? I kind of can. I like how like it registers when you go through a bush, and it makes like that little like walk, like the sound of walking through a bush. Hop. <laughs> Ooh. Now that is lovely. During the summer, as you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night, there's a festival in town. It brings folks in from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Bucket gets kicked. B, b, ba, fuck, dog. Ye Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away. You be his god and face. You scared my wa you scared my girlfriend slash wife. Ah, uh, one minute. Confront the attacker, you, you scare him away, or be, you beat his goddamn face in. He scared, he's after scaring my wife slash girlfriend, I'm not sure at this stage. And he's after kicking my dog. I'm beating his goddamn face in. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat up the guy into a pulp. You don't feel very tough, you cry your eyes out before the cops show. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. Nineteen eighty-four. Parents have kids get overlaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, two thousand miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. She tells you that that this means you won't have a family. She says that's bullshit. She's totally right. She asked. She asked if she, her taking the job means you won't come with her. You say yes. You say yes. Again. Bullshit. She decides not to take it. Oh. Julia is asked to leave Boulder on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a, co a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to her just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say you guys should maybe talk about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget it. No. That, that's bad. This is good. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. Now that's bad. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Oh, 
Oh, would you look at that. Look at this getting older. Julia Common say it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. Julia's afflictions get worse. She can't remember things in her class or reach her searches in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason, and she has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She is sent home on permanent leave, permanent medical leave. Some days you get Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes to into a panic believing her dad is at the door. Jesus, this is bad. For a cartoon, for like not a cartoon, for a video game character, this is horrible. We tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their homes in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. You spend your, following, your days following Julia around the house, counting the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24 hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full time care facility, you are determined to take care of her on your own. I'm going to be there for her. What's behind me? Well, isn't that nice? Any more secrets around here? I did. It's impossibly hard. It's worse when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything, and she can't do anything without you. When she does go to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start to go out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you get worried about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door, or you just trust that she sleeps like a well. Oh, God. I'm just going to put the chair. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice over there. Over time, you tell Sh Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge way off. You're home by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You're stopped by the DUI checkpoint. Oh, you you blow a, zero, a 0 0.1 and you're taken off to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Suzanne. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. You can't believe they can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you that Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue, you see you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming up and you see a job in the paper in the paper. An ad for in the paper for a job. Ugh. You take it. Is that what I am now? Is that Firewatch? This isn't like, that's not the entire game, like, the little semantic, like, cutscenes of walking around, that's the actual game. Like, that's what the game is actually like, but that's not the entire game. I've heard from people this game's about, like, four or five hours long. So I might do hour episodes. Is that an outhouse? Look 
destroyed that. Ooh, old baseball. Hmm. This is a very intriguing baseball. Would you look at the stitches on it? Yeet! Drop it in the toilet. Please tell me I can drop this in the toilet. Yay! I did it! You can go. Oh my. What sign? Who the hell are you? You did. You did. Dude, you're coming with me. Who are you? Who are you? Why are you here? And why are you looking at me? Do you want know to put you back? You can just stay back there. That is like so creepy. Yeah, you just stay there. I'm gonna eat my chocolate. Wow, this is nice. Woo! Hello! There's wood up on the wall. How can you see? Hello, two forks, come back. Pick up your radio. No. I'm picking up the pine cone. this is it's Henry right yeah yeah I'm Delilah yeah that's what the guy said on the phone so what's wrong with you excuse me people take this job to get away from something so what's wrong what's wrong with you that's a great idea go ahead look I just hiked for two days so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now you take a stab at what's wrong with me Fine, then can I what, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Okay, uh, you killed three ex husbands, you were betting against mom, nobody at home can stand you. Okay, you're probably out here because nobody back home can stand you, which, after this brief introduction, is not a big shock. Ouch! I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. Well, I'd better get some sleep then. One sec. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Bye. <laughs> See, I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. Yay! So that's the introduction to the game. 
Yeah. Okay, day one. This is nice. It took me two days to get to get to my job, and now I'm. I feel hungry. Still. Okay, come on, day one. Load. I understand it for taking a long time to load because it it's like a very good drawn out game like the graphics of this game are so good I am writing a novel. Morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh there's Shut up. hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Wait, what? You can see me? Sorry, I guess I slept in. Um. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Oops. Oops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? Oh. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Like, kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Secure. Shut up. <laughs> okay, um, I just found a 20-sided dice if i roll um a 20 or higher i don't have to do anything um it's not it's still moving Stop. What? Illuminati! Heh. Can I read this? Okay. Um, well that's nice, I guess. Uh, just... No. Can I drink it? I don't want to be here. Nice. I'm taking this pine cone and I am going to uh, plant a tree. Yeet! Nice. So let's see, uh... Where is this? Jonesy... Jo I think it's at Jones... This is at Jonesy Lake or Thunder Canyon. 
I am... So I need to go... This way? No. Stupid bush, get out of my way. Forest burns. Nice. You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. What kind of name is Forest Burns anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. Well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Flo Butts? Oh, man, that's even worse. Yeah, well, it's still better than Forrest Burns. This is nice. Okay, Forest Burns, you can go, um... Actually, no, I'm gonna put you where you belong. Also... Um... So, it's, uh, just the outhouse, then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one, at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Good. You, you can stay in here, Forest. He's a wizard! So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hairdryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. Okay, um... So I, I need to go west. Actually, no, I need to go north. Oh, actually, no, this is easier. Okay, let's go. Let's go for a jog. What's this over here? Just fences. Okay, let's keep going. Stop at the fireworks. Why would I jump over that when I just go around it? Hey, what's the code again? One, two, three, four. A whole lot of them. So are there a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. They saved us a lot of back and forth from the trailhead. Don't take all the good stuff. Yeah, all right. Get it. Track down that rope. It was right where you said. Great. So you should be set to get down to the lake. Do people lose their shit doing this job? There's a note that says a guy just left his post. It happens, yeah. You're not going to pop your top, are you, Henry? I wasn't planning on it. Yeah. Oh, I copy map information. Let's see, what's this? Read. Ron. Hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars he liked, hiking into the park. But let, but let, let, let's get, 
Okay. No thanks. Uh, I'm gonna. Yeah. Hey, there's a snack in here. I'm probably gonna eat it. You definitely do not want to do that. Whatever's in there has been in there for years. That's how you get food poisoning. See this? Look at this! Look at that crap! I'm fine. Have I mentioned how nice this game looks <laughs> yet? <laughs> this is like very nice. Eh. Itchy nose, sneezy nose. Eh. Am I going the right way? Yeah. Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. What about shitty boss is gonna get me killed, Hill? Oh, is that Absorka Indian? Maybe, maybe Creek? Uh, it's actually English for not in my job description. Nice. How do you expect me to get down this? Well, okay. did you get that rope? Yeah, I got it. Okay, just lash it to something nearby and take it slow. Okay. Hey, I'm going the right way if I'm at the shale slide, right? Toward the fireworks? You're not lost. Those fireworks are going off to the west of you. It's down the slide and across the meadow, okay? I just saw that sun move very fast. <laughs> nice! I think I might be lost. I'm still at the shale slide. Yes, just head down and keep going west. No, oh. no, no! Shitty boss almost got me killed. <laughs> nice. First, your boss is a delight. Secondly, Jesus. What exactly happened? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No. No, I'm Don't just like it. going for a jog and I have to walk it off. For Christ's sake. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. I would like to retract my statement about knuckle sandwiches. Feet away. Yay. I can clean them up. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What, you don't like a cold muskwa light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. I'm cleaning up. Okay. Okay, let's go get these guys in. Backpack. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Oh, look. They decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Stomp it out. Well, 
I put out their fire. Man, I want to name that forest fire something good, too. Hey, I can always restart it. Uh, no. I think your first instinct was the right one. I left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. There's your Irish. Woohoo! Product of Ireland! Woohoo! Ireland! Save it for later. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. What do we have here? Magic missile. Screaming white. Okay. Well, these are mine now. Oh, great. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Are you serious? Okay, that's good. Oh, great. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? Well, okay, maybe it's a guy and a girl then. Well, isn't that nice? There's a. Uh, ooh. Yes? I should probably just head back. You should probably tell these people off and then head back. But. And if you <gasps> see a penis, you're gonna have to deal with that too. No, see there. Just deal with it, Henry. Well, isn't this just nice? Oh god, there they are. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy, enjoy dealing with that. And they're not even gonna like... Shit, or you're fucked, all right? You don't threaten us. Yeah, who the hell are you, creep? Oh, he's just one of those lonely guys who likes to boss people around. Why do guys think it's all right to just stare at girls? Look, I'm sorry for bothering you. Can you just knock it off, please? Yeah, you should be. This is a free country, and we should be free to do whatever we want. And free from any peeping Tom. I said sorry! Oh my god, is that what you are? Mark me out! Ew! Can we just get out of here? Yeah. <sighs> You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. Yeah, you just go behind that rock. Hey, that go okay? I hope they drown. Yeah. I don't think anyone would mourn a couple of future arsonists. Just gonna go ahead and not log that as a threat. Thanks. But seriously though, thanks for dealing with it. <laughs> uh. Any chance of those kids getting a disease in this lake, like diphtheria or consumption or? 
consumption? Not if they're not 19th century chimney sweeps, no. You know, whatever. I mean, if they drank a bunch, Giardia, maybe, but probably not this time of year. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. Uh, I just broke the room box and now I'm taking it with me. This is mine. Uh, hey, there's a trail to Two Forks Tower down here near the lake. Yeah, that's your tower. So I should go this way. Well, you're not climbing back up that slide. I am taking this boombox is mine now. I don't care what anyone else says, this is mine. Okay, ah. do, do I sell my boombox? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I bring my boombox with me. This is mine now, boy. Walking up. So, I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, you do that. let me know when you get back to your lookout. This is nice. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home, and try not to get hit by lightning. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not gonna strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. Wow. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? I'm actually pretty sure that's true. Oops, I accidentally threw my new boot box at, in, at the wall. Ah. Three, four. <laughs> nice, I got the information. I found a flashlight. There's one in there? Great. Well, the sun's gonna go down soon, so if the batteries still work, you're in luck. Ah! Yay. Yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Firstly, they're called antlers, and secondly, Stay out here long enough, and you'll get creative. I'm going to claw the ground. And now put this back in. Put this back in. Good. And now close it. Where's the lock? I can... Eh. I now have a boombox. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. Yay! Oh, man, you can go where you want. <laughs> great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. <laughs> nice. Hello? Oh! 
This cave is gated off. Oh. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Have that? Ah! Where does it need the key again? <laughs> Yay! Do I still get to keep my thingy? Be horrible. Oh god. Oops. <laughs> I have to go back down and get my boombox now. Yeet! Wait, I know how to open this up. Damn. And th that's how you have fun though with boomboxes these days. You just throw them at walls. I realize I'm not talking much as well, and that's because I. There's loads of dialogue in this game. This is a long first day. Hey. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Hey, go away. Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I I don't think so. Henry, there's there's something I something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Thanks. That's that makes me, you know, nice and comfy. This with my boombox. Trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Uh, I feel like I'm going to be murdered when I'm in the outhouse. Feeling a little exposed, are we? Hey, no man in the history of the world has felt tough with his pants around his ankles. Well, be strong. You can always call if you're having trouble. Mm, sure, I'll do that. What the hell? Uh... What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me. Well, I'm worried about my boombox first. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. I'm gonna carry my boombox because I don't want to lose it. Just... My fucking sheets are gone. They stole your sheets? That's just mean. Yeah, it sucks. The place is trashed. I can't believe this shit. Okay, I put in a call. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? I don't know. Who's out here? 
I mean, I don't know either. I've never had a lookout be a target for violence. Great. I, I can't believe someone would do this. I mean, I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about who knows what out there. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. Yay. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Well, I'm not safe. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache, and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. <laughs> yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Oh. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. Yay! Day two. Okay. Let's see. Day two, day two, day two, 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 two. Day two. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger, and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Okay, I was gonna say Henry, but... Where's my boombox? Um, hello, where's my boombox? Do I not get to keep my boombox? I didn't finish my tea, though. Mm. Oh, wow. It's cold out here. It feels cold out here, anyways. Okay, I'm going south. So I need to go this way. Hello. I see you're busy. I'm gonna leave you alone because I don't like you. <laughs> 